This is, dude, we're starting early. Actually, we're not. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10. Right off, we're ahead of schedule. Yeah. <laughs> and action. <clears throat> hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back, Brian, my friend of me. I know, it's cool. I'm like, we're in the same room. We're here. I know. This Both is... vaccinated. Of course. Still don't cough on me, please. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but we are doing another what's the best way to spend your money video. We did the 4K challenge. I did that with Chris. If you guys remember that video. It's gonna be familiar because it's the same set. So you, you, this might look very familiar <laughs> to you. And now we're doing 8K. So we got some more money. Double down. We're doubling down on the budget. So what are the rules? Okay, so sorry to break this to you, Brian, but your garage has been ransacked. I don't know, it's, it's the worst thing that any cycle is. I, mean, I have nightmares about this. You have nothing left except $8,000 in okay. your bank account. How do you spend $8,000 to get, to put together a package a bike, a complete bike, this time complete with pedals. I know I got a lot of feedback from you guys last time. Pedals, um, it's gotta be a rideable bike. Um, that's gonna get you through the race season. Uh, what does, how do you spend that eight grand? Sure. And we have some rules. It's gotta be new equipment. We're not, we're not going through Craigslist here. We're not eBaying pro products. These, these are new products, they're available. We all have, we have links for them. Mm -hmm. Brian has not looked at mine. <laughs> I have not looked at Brian's selections. So this is, these are very raw takes we're gonna be, we're gonna be looking at right here. Brian's got me on the edge of my seat. He's been talking this, this game up for weeks. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I like, I'll give you a hint. I thought holistically about my items. That doesn't help me. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> so 8,000 might not be for you. If you guys like this woman, we might do a 2,000 after this. But with that said, should we get started? We're breaking this some of the categories really fast. Oh yes. We're doing, there's like a foundation. So we're talking frame, group set, wheels. And then the next category is upgrades. So, you know, if you want faster wheels, if you want to change your handlebars, if you want, um, I don't know, uh, to throw a power meter on there or something like that, that would go into upgrades. Yes. And then the last category, as Chris would say, Wild cards. <laughs> Wild cards. <laughs> and that is like these above and beyond things, you know, let me throw latex tubes in there. Um, let me uh, buy some fancy arrow socks like Chris did in the last video. So with that said, do you want to get started? Yes, absolutely. Let's do it. Oh yeah. I have not looked. I have this not looked. <laughs> for context, he yeah. sent me the spreadsheet and I actually created a fake and duplicate spreadsheet so he wouldn't know <laughs> what I had put together. So this is a true story too. So uh, I have not, I have not seen this. You can open your tab and, and what do we have for foundation? So let's talk about frame. Yep. Let's talk about group set. Let's talk about wheels. That might be a package deal. I don't know how Brian went. What'd yeah. you do? So I went with the package. Okay. okay. I found, you know, sometimes you can find really good opportunities and sometimes it's just, you're better off financially speaking to piece together the pieces. And um, I actually found a Trek Madone 6, which is uh, kind of the aero bike. It's actually common seen like um, what Jerome rides is similar. Yeah, he yeah. has the, the SLR kind of, fancy colorful one but uh, a trek Note 6 is kind of like the venge for for trek it's the trickle down technology from the the high-end one that jerome has correct and it's their aero offering i think that's a good pick Let me take a look at it yeah so um i went with some it's a Madone 6 um the price point was actually lower i don't know if this was a typo this is straight from trek's website but i found the package for forty seven hundred dollars just shy of forty seven hundred. what group set does that come with that does come with mechanical ultegra Okay, so I'm all in the age of era, era of technology, everyone's got electronic. You have electronic on, on all your bikes, right? I have never been a fan of electronic shifting. I Old school. Old I have school, never right. won a race because of electronic shifting, but I have lost races because of electronic shifting. Okay, so fair enough. I prefer the mechanical. Um, it's tried and true. You don't have to worry about batteries running yeah. out, things like that. Um, and this did come with really solid wheels. And actually, I think these might even be the same wheels that you referenced in, in one of your last, in your video of the Bontrager Aeolus comp wheels. And I think you even have a pair, right? This is the disc, <laughs> the disc version, um, but nonetheless, a really solid kind of wide profiled wheel, tubeless compatible, nothing. They're but, race wheels. They're race wheels, yeah. but they're, they're not, they're not absurdly expensive if you do crash them. Crash replacement too, and don't have, forget. Yes, Bontrager and Trek have been always really good about that. So, and you've actually had that happen, right? So, recap, Madone 6. Yep. Mechanical Ultegra. Yes. Disc with with like carbon race wheels. Correct, not all super deep, but they're, 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 they're. All for a reasonable, how much was it? $4,700, just shy. 
I'm kind of jealous. That's a good pick. It's a good package, I thought. That's a very good package. But okay. the, 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 the catch is going to come later, but go ahead. You... I'm excited to get down lower on your list. Yeah, I... So should I, should I do my foundation next? Yeah, I haven't seen anything. All right. I have no idea. All right. What do we got? You ready for this? Yeah, this, let's go. This one might shock you a little bit. I went with Chris's pick from the 4K video. If you guys remember that, Chris went with the Olay Sprint Disc. Okay. I'm going with the Olay Sprint Disc. And I know a lot of you are thinking, well, Jeff went with a carbon, kind of more lightweight bike in this 4K video. Now he's going with a non-carbon bike in the 8K video. What gives? I got a lot of money left over for some goodies lower down on the list. I'm very excited to get into that. So the frame, this is the foundation. Remember, we're just talking category one, the foundation. Um, I'm breaking it up. It's not a package. Frame is the Olay Sprint disc. Which is pretty cheap. I mean, relatively pretty, speaking. Right? Pretty cheap. 1600 bucks. Yeah. And you get some pretty amazing colorways too. Yeah. And this is a national championship winning yeah. frame set. Group set. So I have to buy these separately. So you lose a little bit of money there because when you buy a package bike, yes, you, you get a big discount. Yes. So I keep keeping that in mind. $2,231.33, very specific, for Ultegra R8070 Di2. That's the that's the Di2 version of Ultegra. That's their newest offering. Okay. I, I don't Hi think I need to go for everything. hydraulic disc, the works. Yeah. yeah. So it's like the exact opposite of what I would go for. But okay. This is what's interesting about this. Yeah, okay. it, it, are, these are very different. We yeah. both went with aero bikes, though. I mean... Anyone. Yeah, we, we like flat races. <laughs> we don't like going uphill. Yeah. So. <laughs> so this is the Ultegra. Um, yeah, I'm spending more money on the group set than I am on the frame. Kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, $600 more or something? $500 more? Yeah. Yeah, over $600 more. Um, the, the group set. <laughs> yeah, now I can look. Okay. <laughs> so so um, I don't need Dura-Ace. You pay a premium for Dura-Ace. I don't think you need that. You save some money. People talk about the shifting performance, this and that. I... What do you think? Kind of I, hooey, I right? think I think the Ultegra level, the SRAM Force level, like great. I think for race performance, people have done grand tours on that yeah. level, on that tier. Wheels. Let's talk about wheels. Okay. Which this one I probably spent a, more time on than anything else thinking about which wheels because there's a lot of really good offerings at this price point. And I went I went with Hunt just like Chris did. Um, I bounced around. You know, I looked at Token had some really good offerings. Yeah. Um, there, I mean, there's a lot of brands out there. Hunt 50, 52 Aerodynamicist. They are, uh, they're 13, they're less than 1300 bucks. Um, they are, uh, they're great wheels. I mean, they're how premium. Deep, they're, how deep are they? 52. 52. Okay. Yeah, 52. So I am going, I am going Aero package. 52 is a deep wheel. Like you don't necessarily want to, want to run those in a very strong crosswind unless you're confident in them. I would run them in a crosswind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're I'm, new to the I've sport. I've run an 808, you know, for crosswind. <laughs> Thick boy over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but that's, okay. Um, and they're wide profile, the tubeless? They're, yes, they're tubeless ready. They're wide profile. I probably wouldn't run them tubeless. I'll, we'll get to that a okay, little bit later. Okay. <laughs> but yes, they're tubeless ready. They're wide profile. So that's my foundation. Should we jump into upgrades? Yeah, let's do it. So up, when we talk about upgrades, we're talking about just swapping out kind of key, like key components on your bike for either performance or for comfort or for both. You want to start? Yeah, I'll take it away. Take it away. All right, so just like before, have you seen my picks? I, I'm, dude, you've been hey. talking a big game. <laughs> Again, maybe even still later. So we're gonna talk pedals. This we're is, starting with pedals, okay. We're starting with pedals <laughs> because you guys said you can't ride a bike without pedals. Yeah, they did mention that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and to me, there's only one option for this and in fact, I have one I know, bike I behind. Have to I, I have, have a to bike look. behind here. I have a bike over here. There's only one option: speed player. What? What is it with speed play? Can you can you convince me? Uh, the stack. First off, the stack height is lower than any other pedal. Why is that a good thing? Why do because, people care about stack height? Don't get me started. But ultimately, I just got you started. <laughs> <laughs> biomechanically, it means that there's less torque that's going towards other things around the pedal stroke. So it means you can actually lower the entire system of your bike to be lower overall. So if you have Think if you put a shim in your shoe and then you had to raise your saddle appropriately to do so, you can actually think about taking that shim out and then the saddle lowers, the handlebars lower, the whole system is lower, which means lower oh. center of gravity. More arrow too. And it's more arrow. Okay, I didn't think about that. And then the other piece is with that low stack height of these profile pedals, I don't know if anyone's seen these, 
you could pedal through any and all the corners you want to. So the next thing, okay, yeah. handlebars. So what do you think? What do you think? Well, you know me. Well, I know what I picked. <laughs> Yeah, okay. It's so gonna you, be an, it's gonna okay, be an so arrow offering. I know that it's gotta be an arrow offering. Did you go arrow arrow flight too? No. Okay. I went with the uh, the I guess they changed their name over the years. It's Dixie Flyer. Dixie Flyer. I've heard Dixie of that. Dixie yeah, Flyer. They make frames. Right. They do. They make some frames. They make a couple things, and they actually have oh, a. That's clean. They actually have a can uh, a handlebar that is called Hellier Bar. Named after what do you know the track in <laughs> San Jose, but I didn't pick it for that record reason. holder here. By the I way, I didn't. I didn't pick it for that reason. Okay, I picked it for one reason. Another reason. A, it has the kind of arrow profile on the top, like many arrow sure. handlebars do. I'm familiar with those. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> but they're 33 millimeters wide. Oh, you you are you. I think you're like you're like Dutch at heart. Right? <laughs> so this bar, like, I wish I could pull it over here and frame his bikes right here. I promise you guys, he is like riding knuckles together, basically. Yeah, and so you've seen it a lot. It's it's been in the news recently. There was there was I run a lot of forty two just to put that number in perspective. <laughs> Ten centimeters narrow, so it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit more arrow as people kind of will often call out, but. For me, my actual reason for going narrower is not about aerodynamics. Even though, of course, at heart, I'm still a bike racer. I'm not as much a bike racer as I used to be after my accident. So for me, having narrow handlebars, I actually have more stability and more control because my joints are a little bit more stacked. So the handlebar kind of stays beneath my hand. So think of like why you grab the tops of your handlebars. It's because your elbows are stacked below your shoulders are stacked kind of in your spine uh -huh. kind of relaxes. But if you think about holding a mountain bike, you kind of have to support yourself. It is like wide. it is like out. Oh, it's like driving a, a big rig. Yeah. Right, and it's not as supportive actually at the end of the day. Even though you think you have support because sure. you have a wide lever arm, you actually have to use your deltoid and your shoulders. And I don't have a deltoid anymore, so the narrow bars actually provide for me like a so lot it's of win, control. So it's win-win. Plus, arrow it's more and it's more and it's more comfortable. Can I can I take over yeah, some it's upgrades? All, it's all you. All right. All right. What do we got here? Um, oh, I got a long list for you guys right. of upgrades <laughs> because first of all, my foundation, I broke up. It wasn't a package deal. So, so I am looking for, for those customizable pieces that I'm familiar with that I like that I think are money well spent to make you faster. Okay. Pedals. I'm going down my okay, list. Okay, are pedals. we good on pedals? Okay, pedals? That's where I started. All right. Eh, whatever. Ultegra R8000. What do you want? They work. Tried, tried and true. Tried and true. <laughs> I have Ultegra R8000. R 0 0.5 on my bike. I was gonna say, I think those are from like 1995 and it's probably the same kind of shape. And they are wearing down on the outside because <laughs> I, I, guys, I run my equipment right to that limit and I am, I am pedal clipping, I don't know, a dozen times a year. I'm always finding that limit as, as close as you can to pedaling through a corner. Um, they work. I know when, I know they're gonna keep me in there when I'm doing 1500 watts yeah. and they're just, they're predictable for me. Power meter. Okay. Got to include a power meter. I went for a decade without training, without racing, without doing anything with power because I'm a cheapskate and I regret it now. They're cheaper now, in my defense. They were two grand back in the day. Now you get a stages one-sided Ultegra for 349 bucks. Pretty crazy. And and they're yeah. they're very accurate too. And yes, stages sponsors this channel. And yes, you guys can enjoy a discount code down below. But Go pick, go pick a four eyes if you want. Like it doesn't really matter. Um, I like the stages, um, but a one-sided Ultegra power meter, 349 bucks, doesn't even really make a dent in, our, in this budget. So we're good there. Um, oh, by the way, easy. These one-sided uh, power meters, whether it's four eyes or stages, you remove the crank arm, you put the new crank arm on and you go on a bike ride. Yep. Computer. Oh, I also include the computer, so I'll come back to mine then. Put that yeah. down in consumables, okay. yeah. Don't forget, he's got a computer before you guys attack him for not having a computer. Um, I went with the Edge 130 Plus. Um, it's on my bike right there. Hold that thought. It's really cute. It's really cute. It's the cutest little thing. <laughs> it's the cutest little thing. So, um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's as big as my watch. Like, look at this, guys. <laughs> it's like the is. same size screen as my watch. So it's not for everybody. It's the Edge 130 Plus. Um, by Garmin. And I like it because I'm weird. Stages is a sponsor of this channel. So I could have easily told you guys go buy the Stages. Um, but no, I like this one more. Um, the Stages has more uh, features that I won't use. 
might be useful for some of for some of you. I know these roads around my house that I go train on. I'm trained like a robot, so I'm kind of in a in a weird position there where like I know what to go do. This shows me what I need and nothing more. And it's it's just a this this oh. reminds me of like um for those to date myself, a wired cat eye oh, computer. Yeah. Wired, you remember those? Yeah, wired little speedometer. You're old. Are you, are, you're yeah. even, I'm older than you. How do you know about those? Dude. <laughs> I've been riding for too long. But this reminds me of the head unit on those old cat eyes that we used to have. But this is perfect for me. That's that's 199 bucks. It's cheap. Yeah. Handlebars. I only have two more items and upgrades. Okay. So bear with me. Handlebars. Bear with me. Handlebars. Arrow, because we're both cursed with the arrow. Arrow yeah. is everything. It is, man. It is, totally. And um, yeah, uh, I went with specialized. They're on. Sell out. <laughs> total. Total. <laughs> <laughs> I love them, man. They're so good. And the thing is, is once you start riding, the bars, the contact points, you know, the, the bars, the saddle, the tires, those are in very important components yeah. of a bike. And if you switch your tires and you don't really know how they perform and the weather is questionable, like you might eat it into a corner. <laughs> right, right. If you change bars and they're a little bit different than you're used to, you might be really sore in some muscles that you didn't even know existed in your body. <laughs> right. So I think it's really important to stay consistent. And I am just extremely familiar with the Aerofly. Turns out it's called the, the Reval Repeat. They, they've changed their bars. Just like your Dixie thing changed its yeah, name. Yeah, okay. So anyway, it's the Aerofly. But they've... They have apparently they've upgraded it. It's a three hundred dollar handlebar, but how, how wide? I go forty two. I know, I know. You ride, you it's ride like a Harley. Like, it's like a <laughs> hanger or something like this. Um, it's uh, I like it. I don't know. I've always ridden forty forty twos. Uh, I tried forties. They felt too narrow. He rides thirty threes. He's the crazy one, not me. Saddle, last one. I'm also a sellout. Uh, and I went with Specialized, and that's the Power Comp. You don't need to spend $300, $400 on the, ti yeah. on the titanium rails or the carbon rails. Um, uh, to me, it's not worth it. If you're a weight weenie and you're really looking for those marginal gains, then you should consider it. But for 130 bucks, you get the Power Comp, which is the same shell and the mold. The design is the same. You don't want to change that if you're used to something. There's a lot of other saddles that feel similar. I think this is a... This is a trend that, that I feel like Specialized started. It's the snub, snub nosed power shape. It's, it's got a wide uh, rear to it and it's got a snub nose and you can get really arrow and aggressive in a crit position. Yeah, I think you know hip stability, I think was something that they came out really early on and kind of said it's actually gonna support your, your hips. I mean, you have a, a physique over there that was kind of this really long and narrow saddle yeah, I know. and that was like the standard, but and yeah. then all of a sudden, yeah, Specialized came out and kind of change the game a little bit with that body saddle. geometry i think they call it yeah they have some marketing stuff for it but um those are my upgrades i am excited to talk about wild cards should we get into it yeah all right, all right, <laughs> all right. you start all right so first and foremost i have to hit the things that i didn't cover which was computer computer and so i did include the computer here helmet